formaldehyde, ammonia, petroleum, oh my! Chances are, those are three of thousands of chemicals floating through the air in your house. You know where those chemicals come from? New toys, furniture, paint, mattresses, carpet, cleaning products, hardwood floors. Let's talk about air fresheners. Most conventional air fresheners aren't freshening the air at all. They're covering up chemicals with chemicals. Basically, anything new that you bring into your house most likely is going to off-gas. Hey Mandy, what's off-gassing? Off-gassing, it's not what happens when you eat a bean burrito. It's what happens when common household products release chemicals into the air. It sucks. That new car or new house smell is actually, hey, we got some new chemicals in the house or car smell. It can cause asthma, fatigue, congestion, or much worse. When's the last time you attended a funeral for a friend that died of leukemia and you said, Oh, it's too bad they died of leukemia, but their new house, oh, it looked amazing. No. So how do you get these chemicals out of your house? One of the best ways you can do this is by opening your windows every single day. But some people can't do that. You might live in an environment where it's super toxic outside or it's pollen season or whatever. If you can't open your windows every day, there are lots of other things that you can do. Clean your damn house. And I mean clean your house with eco-friendly products. Some people will go clean their house and they're using products that make the air more toxic. Don't forget your drapes, bedding, pets. Dirty dog. Get an air purifier. Put it in your bedrooms. Put it in rooms you spend the most time in. Worth every penny. Change your air filter on a regular basis. Or even better yet, get the ones that you can clean so you're not sending those to a landfill. Get some house plants. House plants are known for cleaning the air and giving off oxygen. Try to buy eco-friendly products that haven't been treated with a bunch of chemicals or buy used. Those items have already off-gassed. As a precaution, when you buy something new, set it outside for a few days. Put it in the garage. Take all the packaging off. Let it off-gas. You don't want to bring that into your home, especially if you have kids. Speaking of kids, think about when someone has a baby, especially if it's their first baby. Everyone gives them all this crap. Toys, cribs, strollers. Usually those items are brand new and you're gonna put a new little baby into a piece of furniture that's gonna off gas. Gross. If you have any damp areas in your house like a basement, get a dehumidifier. Mold problems are a nightmare. Last but not least, activated charcoal. Activated charcoal pulls toxic particles from the air and it binds to all the little surfaces. It will reach an absorption capacity, so you want to change it about once a month. All right, you guys, let's review. Open your windows, clean your air filter, get an air purifier, get a dehumidifier in areas of your house that are damp, get some house plants, clean your damn house, utilize activated charcoal if you need to, do the hokey pokey, get a gas mask, and if nothing else helps, just...